the first speech of tonight's session in English is going to be it's going to be done by Jimena Rojas. She is from Chile, the same place as Torre de Paine. Let me tell you a bit more about Jimena. Jimena is a chemical engineer. My mother was also a chemical engineer, so I know a bit about the tasks that the job has to do. She's working as a group manager for an analytic team. She is one of the first members of the Villa Toastmasters Club. She is an advanced communicator with a bronze qualification. Last, she is currently working on completing the fair, effective coaching pathway. So, let us let us give a warm welcome to Jimena Rojas, God of War, God of War, Jimena Rojas. I will have lived in peace, but enemies broke me war. Dear Toastmasters, dear guests, this quote by author Pierce Brand represents clearly to me the characteristics and model of the protagonist of the video game franchise, God of War, Kratos. War is one of the main drivers of conflict in video games narrative. And for God of War's story, Kratos was fed by vengeance. And that was the key connector of his story, especially in the first installments of that franchise. Audience, video games have changed over time. Now more than ever, they're a medium. They're used to discover to display and to discuss relevant topics within our society. And it's important because it allowed the generation that has grown with video games to keep involved with them because speaks of their interest and worry at the same time. Like a muscle above light, I like shiny and warm. That means that I like visual effects, pretty visual. Those are a magnet for me, and probably the same for many others. But let me tell you, video games are more than that. They're a union between technology and art. Today, I strive to exemplify this specific statement after experiencing a couple of games that I have played as a, as a casual style. And hopefully you will understand what I mean by this, that it's beyond what you can see in your screen and the story behind them, it's what is left behind. Let me start with Gris. Gris is a game that is a puzzle. In this puzzle, you have to rediscover the color of life. And you have to help the protagonist to unlock colors to help them go through the process of grief. I'd like to say that grief is one of the true and only processes beyond birth and death that probably is transversal to anyone here the loss of a lo someone that you love. The step-by-step -step process of rediscovering and going through pain, unlock back what makes you feel in life and emerge victorious over a war against your own feelings of hopelessness and sadness. Gris was an excellent example for me of a tool to help someone feel again. Another video game that is also named after a color is Celeste. This is a platform game. Platform games are like Mario Bros. Uh, but Celeste in particular is much, much harder. <laughs> And instead of having to play the princess, the protagonist has to go through war against herself. And let me ask you, who has to go against a war 
a war against yourself? Who hasn't struggled with what's inside yourself? Second guessing, tripping, hurting, because it's hard to find self-acceptance. Finding your own identity is a struggle that affects anyone. And the fact that I could see this while playing a game was mind blowing to me. What also was mind blowing was the next game that I played a couple of years back. It's called Journey. Imagine this, you are walking through a desert and everything that you discover under tons and tons of sand are ruins. Playing this adventure game, I was able to understand clearly the consequences of war in society itself. I saw and felt the bitter feeling of a destroyed society after fighting for resources. And sometimes we just need to look outside, out of the window, in the screen of your telephone, in your TV, and you will see that that's not really far from it, what's happening right now. It was a call to action for me to reflect and understand and hopefully try to understand what can I do to help? My final example though, goes back to Kratos, the, the character that I introduced at the beginning. And let me tell you, he is a muscle man that can defeat monsters and titans. Nothing that I could actually identify with. And he could have gone through the old game in this friend, frenzy of bloodlust to keep fighting and fighting. But to my surprise, in the last version of the game, something new was discovered. The story of Tarnitru, because Kratos has to struggle to guide his son to discover the true identity while learning himself how to be a parent. And from what I heard, being a parent is way more scary and difficult than defeating any monster as well as overcoming grief, like grief told me, as well as accepting yourself, like Celeste made me experience, as well as confronting what's out there in society, like journey exposed. What video games really helped me was to remember, like a mirror in life, that the journey of discovering these challenges are much more insightful than any any boss that you can kill in a video game.